here it is, a tour of our brand new home. Make sure you stay to the end of the video. I've got a very special message to share with you all. This was our very first home. December 2016, five and a half years ago, I took some of my winnings from the Olympics and I bought this house. We made a lot of memories in this house. We started a family in this house. Once upon a time, this room was my incredibly awesome Harry Potter office. It was decked out in Harry Potter toys. And then it became Baby Kato's first ever bedroom. Summer of 2020 during COVID when the world was shut down, I built this deck. This used to be 20% this size. I'll never forget pouring all this concrete to have my endless pool installed. This is truly one of the first times in my life where I've ever been really nostalgic about a home. And that's okay, it's time for me and the family to move on. <sighs> Next chapter, here we come. We've been here for about two months now. A lot of work has got into it. Let's check it out. You walk inside, oh, weird light, and on the right you have the dining room, which currently doesn't have a dining room table yet. This has basically just become the dog room. We've got a little extra fridge, some storage space, dimmable light fixture. Walk in the front door and you go left, and this is the room that we're calling the den. I believe it's actually a formal living room, but um, this is like the playroom where all of Axel's toys are. Fun fact, all of our furniture from our original living room fits in this one room. This is like the size of like our, our, our older house. <laughs> and if you walk straight through the front door this way, here is the main living room. And obviously we've got the big slide set up for Axe to play. Now we walk this way straight into the kitchen. This is Allie's favorite massive kitchen island, lots of counter space. big fan of white cabinets, which we've got lots of. And apparently this stove is Italian custom made in Italy, so that's, that's kind of neat. Find me a fridge that looks like a gun safe. I mean, come on, right? Right? Never in my life did I think I'd have one of these thingies. The little water, to, you know, fancy. Let me show you one of my absolute favorite features of this house, the deck and the view right here. This deck is massive. It is a whole lot for me to power wash. <laughs> Axel's got his little playhouse over there and on, on the far side there's steps that go down. There's another level underneath us, which I'll show you in a second. I just got this beautiful outdoor furniture from Outer. I mean, look at how big this thing is. You can fit two people on here. Outer makes wonderful, eco-conscious, durable outdoor furniture. I love Outer because they're sustainable. Their all-weather wicker frames are made from recycled plastic bottles, which is nuts. They plant loads of trees to fight deforestation, and they're climate neutral certified, so every product is fully recyclable. Outer's patented fabric is UV protected and stain resistant, so it's it's gonna look new for 10 years. And look at this built-in cover right here. Look at this. All the pieces have these just attached to it, you know, that you slip right under the seat. The all-weather wicker has rust-proof legs, which makes them by far the most durable outdoor furniture brand. Plus, it's extremely comfortable. And finally, Outer is completely risk-free. If you don't love your sofa, they offer free return shipping and 100% money-back guarantee within 14 days of delivery. However, mine is staying put forever. If you're interested, don't wait. Get $200 off 
plus free shipping by heading to go.liveouter.com slash Cody Miller. That's go.liveouter.com slash Cody Miller. One of their newest collections sold out in less than 24 hours, so seriously don't wait. And thank you, Outer, for sponsoring this video. Now let's head back inside. I will show you the garage, and then we'll go upstairs. Lots of space out here. Everyone has asked about the endless pool. Cody, where is your endless pool? Are you bringing it to the new house? Yes, there it is. It is currently in pieces. I haven't got around to assembling it yet, but that is coming soon. There's actually built-in drainage here in the garage, which is gonna be perfect for when the pool is put together. Okay, let's go back inside. Welcome to the top floor. A lot of work has been going on up here. Off to the left is the guest bathroom. Obviously nothing on the walls yet. We just moved in, other stuff going on. This is our master bedroom. Just put that TV up on the wall and here is the bathroom. Nice walk-in shower with two shower heads for, for Allie and I. Off of our bedroom is Kato's bedroom and Allie just painted this room. Like two days ago, just painted it. Kato's walk-in closet is larger than the closet for Allie and I at our old house. Okay, and now I will show you Axel's room. This is it. Axel has the coolest room because he has a dope, dope closet. Off of the closet here, we have a fun little bonus room back here. This is basically just our playroom. We just, you know, play with toys in here and stuff. Now I'll show you the guest room, which is just right off that stairwell we came up to come upstairs. Oh, oh, oh. Allie is about to paint this room because she doesn't like the green on the wall. The laundry room is in here. Lots of nice space in here. Back on the main floor, let me show you the most divisive room in the house. This is the bathroom off of the kitchen. Hand painted, beautiful. What do you think? Does it look like vomit or throw up? Like some people say, or old, beautiful, Italian, vintage, I don't know, whatever the home makeover shows call it, you know? Put a little chandelier. Now we will head downstairs. Gotta get this child lock. Gotta have those. This is for sure my favorite part of the house. This will eventually clear out. That stuff's gonna go on the walls. And then I'm gonna turn this whole thing into like a big movie room area. It's pretty empty right now, like there's not a lot of stuff in here that I use a whole lot, but we're gonna get a lot of stuff, gonna fill this place out. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Back here is a large utility closet, tons and tons of storage. Another small closet, that's where I keep all of my swimming stuff. And then through here is actually my YouTube studio stepping in now. I'm not gonna show it to you. I'm looking in front of it. I'll show it to you in the future. It's not ready yet. I wanna, it's just not ready yet, but this is the future of my YouTube stuff right in here. I'm looking at it. Once again, I'll show it to you in the future when it's ready, okay? We walk out this door, we walk out to the lower deck, and then that takes us down to the dock. Come over this way and, um, well, let, let, let me show you. This right here is a Michael Phelps signature 
oversized swim spa. <laughs> there it is. I actually haven't been inside of it yet, but it is a really, really big hot tub. Never been in one of these yet, but I'm kind of excited about it. Out here is the deck, second deck, and then down these steps is the third deck. Definitely gonna get more stuff from outer to fill up this space. Lots of seating space up here and up there. I hope that you all enjoyed this tour of me showing you this home, just following me around. I am extremely grateful and appreciative that I am able to have this now. Um, it's not lost on me how lucky and how fortunate I have been. Um, I, I grew up very, very poor. I grew up moving around a lot. You know, I never had a home that I just lived in my entire life and grew up in. Um, you know, my life wasn't terrible growing up. Like I had a good childhood, but there were a lot of really, really difficult times. And I never envisioned myself of someone who was going to be able to find a home and afford a home like this and have a family. Like before I'm an alley, I've talked about this before. I never even thought I would have kids. And for me to be here now, to be a family man, to be starting a business, to be, you know, investing in the swimming world and doing all kinds of stuff. Like I feel super fortunate and super lucky. And I, I want to thank the audience and thank all of you, all of my sus subscribers, all of my regular viewers, because you have been a part of this journey. You have helped me get here. You know, um, when I finished college, I had no money. I had zero money. I was washing cars and detailing motorcycles to buy peanut butter and to pay rent. And then I got really good at swimming and I gained sponsors and suddenly my life changed. Um, I was able to afford the home that we just left. You know, I was able to buy that home. Um, I was able to provide for me and Allie. Um, and then I started this YouTube channel out of my love for filmmaking, out of my love for swimming, and, and it was just a hobby. It was just something that I loved doing. It was just something that was fun. And it turned into this thing that has provided me all of these sponsors and a new source of revenue. And you, the audience that have been here this whole time, if you have ever watched any one of my videos, watched one of my ads, used one of my promo codes, sat through one of my advertisements, you have helped support me on this journey up until this point. And that is not lost on me. And I am greatly appreciative of that. The fact that I have been able to become a successful YouTuber, that's a very, very rare thing. It's a very special thing. It's something that, that I am very, very, it's just not lost on me. I, I love it. I really, really love it. I'm appreciative of it. And I want to continue doing this. And once again, I just thank you all for supporting me over the years because you're a part of this. And I wanted to, you know, to, to show you like what, where, where I'm at now, you know, where I am at now, where you have helped me get here. Um, lots of blood, sweat, tears, hard work, um, but the audience as well. So, so thank you all. Hope you enjoyed, enjoyed the tour today. <laughs> anyway, as always, here's all the normal stuff. Follow me online. We have merch on the merch store. This is one of our new t-shirts only good days. If you'd like a personalized video from me to you or someone, you know, for any reason, like whatsoever, pump up video, birthday video, race strategy video, whatever, I'm on Cameo. Please hit that subscribe button, click that like button, leave a comment below what did you think, and until my next video, I will see you all later.